Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Amber, and this is About That Mama Life. And on my channel, we do beauty and skincare videos, recipes, DIY, like the one we're gonna be doing today on a DIY pearl embellished beaded jeans. And uh, if that type of content interests you, then consider subscribing to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing this DIY jeans, uh, inspired by all the Instagram rage of the pearl and embellished jeans. However, they can be kind of pricey, so we're gonna do a DIY. We're gonna need for this project some ripped denim. If you have some jeans that you are interested in distressing yourself, I have a very easy DIY on how to distress your own jeans, so check that out at the end of this video. We're going to use some pearl. I got these off Amazon for about $12 or $13 some rhinestone chain this is for the beautiful sparkly totally extra you don't have to have that just completely follow this diy and uh, customize it to what you like we're going to need a needle and thread to sew it in and that's about it so if you're interested in how to diy these beautiful pearl jeans then let's get into it Okay, so I got my jeans from American Eagle. They were already distressed. These were about $50, and they have a buy one get one half off right now. So I picked up a couple pair of jeans. These are just what fits my body best and what I'm comfortable in. But absolutely, grab some of your old jeans and distress them yourself. You do not have to spend a bunch of extra money on this, especially if it's a DIY project and it's your first. You can always use what you have at home, and then go from there. If you really like these, you can purchase a new pair of jeans. So work with what you have. I find it's easier to put them on and then sew them in from there. That way you can place the pearls and try them on standing up and sitting down to see if you like them to be a little tighter or hang a little more loosely and what you like as your personal preference. So let's sew our jeans on and we'll get to sewing. So as I'm sitting down, beads. So as I'm sitting down here, it looks nice and tight. But when I stand up, it's gonna hang a little bit more loose. So I think I prefer it to be tight sitting down and a little bit loosely hanging standing up. So once you've decided how you want it, you're gonna want about one pearl to go under the jean on each side. So I'm going to trim that here. And I'm gonna grab my trusty needle and thread. Taking the end of the thread, I'm gonna do a double knot. Okay. And then you can go ahead and trim off your excess string. We're gonna start by, we'll go on this side because it's a little easier for me. So I want my pearls to be about here. I'm going to put one under my jean and just kind of measure out where I want it to go. So I'm going to put a my knot underneath the jean and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew underneath the string and then try to come up right around that same area that you put the first hole in your jeans. That way you will see a minimum amount of thread. So go underneath the first pearl and then pull your needle up from underneath up through your jeans in a similar spot. And just continue doing that. I do it about three or four times so I know it's nice and secure so when I go to wash these jeans that they will stay Nice. On the fourth time, I'm gonna start making a knot. So, once your your string gets close to being pulled, once your string gets close to being pulled through, you're gonna pull your needle back up under the string so that when you come through, it's gonna create a knot. And then I'm gonna do one more time, pull it through, create a knot, so it's a double knot. And then just cut your string off as close to the jean as possible, tuck that pearl in, and now we're ready to sew the other side. So take the bottom of your string, double knot it again, 
and we're going to sew the other side in the same way. I'm going to do this side in regular motion and then I'll speed up. I'm going to place this pearl right underneath and then I'm going to begin my sewing. So I'm going to take here, go underneath, place my pearl, and then what I want to do is come underneath that, underneath here, this part, and then come up under the jean in a similar place, push that pearl back underneath where it belongs. And then continue to sew that in, going underneath the pearl strand and up into the jeans. Do that three or four times so you know that your pearl is secure in place. And then you're going to do a knot and a knot. Trim your string as close to the edge as you can. And here we go. When I stand up, it hangs a little loosely, but it looks beautiful. Okay, so I've sewn them in, and here they are. This is my DIY pearl and rhinestone strand jeans. So those are my new beautiful pearl and rhinestone jeans and I am in love. I think they're so cute and I love how this DIY came out. So in total on the supplies, I had needle and thread scissors. I spent probably about 25 bucks on the pearls and the rhinestones and I have a ton left over. <laughs> I could probably do like three more pairs of jeans. And then I did buy these jeans new. I didn't use any that I had, so I spent about 50 bucks on that. So all in all, about 75 total to make these jeans. You Again, you could definitely use jeans that you just have laying around at your house. And if you want to know how to distress your jeans, I will put that video here. And if you liked this video, learned something, or enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to my channel here. Your Support really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today and doing this DIY project with me. I hope you learned something and you had a good time and I will see you soon.